Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and those of us here in Austin, Texas are very excited about Google's announcement that Google Fiber is coming here. It will be the second city in the U.S. to get that. That means gigabit internet speeds for about $70 a month. So when that happened, I wondered what Time Warner and AT&T were going to do. They're the two big internet service providers here in this area. I figured they're going to have to come out with some kind of a deal, and my internet package is 20 megabit per second for, I think we pay about $40 a month. Uh, that's the download, upload, I think is uh, two megabit per second. And I wondered what kind of deal they might start making in anticipation of Google coming in with this incredibly fast, 50 times faster internet speed than the package that I have. And I think what I have is probably faster than what a lot of people have. So sure enough, some deals have started popping up and I just got this in my email from Roadrunner Time Warner offering for just $10 a month more to bump me up to their, I think it's the fastest that they offer in this area, 50 megabit per second speed. But this is pretty good from Time Warner, so I think I'm going to convert over. It doesn't commit me to another year, it just uh, guarantees that I can keep this, uh, this pricing basically for another year. So I'm going to show you here my speakeasy.net speed test speed right now. I'm going to go online and upgrade my service to the 50 megabit per second, and then I'll come back and show you the speed on that. This is speakeasy.net. I like this speed test. This is the basic mode. They have a more advanced mode that'll give you information like latency and dropped packets and so forth, but I'm just interested in raw speed here. So my closest location is Dallas. Let's see what it shows. Should be getting 20 for download. That's pretty good and then two for upload close enough it looks like alright now to test out after the upgrade well I got my upgrade it wasn't what I was expecting exactly had to go through a lot of rigmarole because they didn't recognize the offer it said I wasn't eligible for it when I tried to do it online they had to talk to the supervisor they gave me quite a runaround but the end of the story being that it didn't exactly say for ten dollars more a month you could get the 50 megabit per second they did say you could get faster speed so they offered me 30 megabits per second as a download, 5 megabit per second upload, which is really what I was after, for $10 more a month than my current plan, so I decided to go for that. So I'm now paying $49.95 a month to Time Warner Roadrunner Internet Service for 30 megs down, 5 megs up. Pretty good deal, I think. Going to be blown out of the water by the Google Fiber when it comes, but for now, that's uh, part one of my plan for upgrading our internet service and next comes upgrading the distribution network and the heart of that is this guy right here. The router going with the 802.11ac, the newest standard. It's still in draft form, will be finalized sometime early next year they think. Since the Google Fiber is coming early next year, it's promising gigabit internet connection. I want something that can stream it that fast. Uh, all of our devices here are in, so got this guy to get the full potential out of this. Going to use this in my laptop. Going to set up the router tonight and tomorrow morning, so I'll get the review for that and put it up here as soon as I have that tomorrow. And then probably the following day, I'll get the review up for this piece right here, and I'll link that here. So if you're seeing them, they're done. Go ahead and watch them if you'd like to follow through on the overhaul of my internet and network connection. The router is the top of the line Asus RTAC66U, the fastest they make, and the USB adapter is also Asus, it's the companion piece for this, basically they're supposed to work real well together, it's USB AC53. This doesn't have the full potential of the router because this is just a USB 2.0 adapter, but all I have is USB 2.0 to work with, so I'm going to max this out as much as I can. I've looked through our network here at the house. We have 14 Wi-Fi devices. I'm going to get them all on the network, see what I can do, give this the biggest workout that I can. I've got a LAN test software. I'm going to measure the wireless end connection with the current router that I have, the DIR655, versus the wireless end with this. And then in the end, I'll test it out with the maximum of everything, see the maximum speed, the maximum distance. I'll be reporting that back in the next two videos. 
For now, let me show you what my current internet speed is now that I've got that upgrade from Time Warner. Okay, we should be getting 30 and 5. Let's take a look and see. Looks like 30. Takes a little while. But there it goes. 5 megabit per second upload. So as I mentioned, the next challenge is to distribute the speed without the dropouts and the disconnects and the buffering. So check back in to see the video reviews of the two products that are going to let me do that. So check back the next day or two to see how the network upgrade went or you can subscribe and be notified automatically.